Welcome to a world that offers improved glucose control so you can enjoy a lifestyle of greater freedom and flexibility. Whether you have chosen an insulin pump because of its convenience or to reduce the severity and frequency of high and low blood sugars, your Minimed Paradigm Veo insulin pump will be a valuable tool in helping you manage your diabetes. This training is intended to supplement the personalized training provided by your health care provider. If you have your pump available, we encourage you to follow along and practice the training exercises before you attend your in-person pump training. Make sure you are not connected to your pump while you practice. Basal insulin covers your insulin needs between meals and through the night. You can program your pump with one basal rate amount that will deliver each hour, continuously throughout the day and night. Or you can program the pump with different basal rate amounts to be delivered during certain times of the day. Basal rates can be adjusted and customized to meet your individual basal insulin needs. When you first start on your pump, you will most likely start with just one basal rate. The pump will deliver that exact basal amount evenly over each hour, 24 hours a day. For example, if your starting basal rate is 0.5 or a half unit, your pump would deliver a half a unit of insulin each hour. This means you would receive a total of 12 units of basal insulin every day. Your healthcare provider will calculate the hourly basal rate or rates that are best for you to use when you start on your pump. To practice programming a single basal rate, start on the home screen and press Act. On the main menu, scroll down to Basal and press Act again. On the Basal menu, scroll to Basal Setup, then select Set Edit Basal. Press Act. On the Set Basal Rate 1 screen, use the up and down arrows to enter your practice basal rate amount. For this practice exercise, we will program a basal rate of 0.500 units an hour. Notice that the start time of your first basal rate is midnight, 12 a.m. The start time of the first basal rate is always midnight and cannot be changed. Press Act. When you press Act, the Set Start Time 2 screen appears. If you were programming more than one basal rate, you would use this screen to set the time and rate for your second basal rate. In this exercise, we are only programming one rate. So to complete the programming of the single basal rate, press Act. The basal rate screen appears, showing the current rate, the start time of that rate, and the 24-hour total amount. If you set your basal rate at 0.500 units an hour, this means 0.500 units of insulin will deliver each hour and you will receive a total of 12 units of insulin over a 24-hour period. Your daily basal rate is now programmed. If you are practicing using your pump, set a single basal rate of 0.500 units on your pump now. When you are ready, click Next to continue. Now that you are familiar with programming a single basal rate, let's try programming more than one basal rate. From the Basal menu, scroll to Basal Setup and press Act. Set Edit Basal should be highlighted. Press Act to select. Set Basal Rate 1 appears. Set the first basal rate to 0.500 units. Set Start Time 2 will appear with dashes flashing in the upper left corner. The flashing dashes indicate that the start time for the second basal rate needs to be programmed. Set the following start times and basal rates using the up and down arrows. Press Act to confirm each start time and rate as you set it. Set start time 2 to 3 a.m. Set the rate to 0.800 units per hour. Press Act to continue. Next, set start time 3 to 7 a.m and set the rate to 0.650 units per hour. Press Act to confirm. When the dashes for start time 4 appear, press Act. We will only set three basal rates for this practice. 
Notice that the basal rate screen appears, showing the basal rate that is currently being delivered, the time the current rate started delivering, and the 24-hour total, which in this example is 15.750 units. This is the total amount of basal insulin that will be delivered over 24 hours when the basal rates and times are set using these values. Use your pump to practice setting multiple basal rates now. When you are ready, click Next to continue. Now that you have a few basal rates programmed, let's look at the basal review screen. To see the basal review screen, start at the main menu. Scroll to Basal and press Act. On the Basal menu, scroll to Basal Review and press Act again. Your Basal Review screen displays the basal rates that are currently programmed into your pump. It shows the start time of each basal rate, the hourly amount of each basal rate, and the total number of units of basal insulin that will be delivered over 24 hours. If you are using your pump to practice, Try accessing your basal review screen and review the basal rates that you have programmed on your pump. Click Next when you're ready to continue. If you would like additional practice setting basal rates, the basal rates you just set can be erased. Once erased, you can repeat the practice exercises or make up other basal rates to practice programming your pump. From the basal menu, scroll to Basal Setup and press Act. Set Edit Basal is highlighted. Press Act and Set Basal Rate 1 appears. Press the down arrow until the rate is set to 0.000 units per hour. Press Act. When Set Start Time 2 appears, press down to set the time to dashes and press Act. The current rate screen appears with the 24-hour total reading 0.000 units. Your basal rates have been erased. The Maximum Basal Rate feature is a safety feature that allows you to set the maximum amount of basal insulin you want your pump to deliver in an hour. The pump is shipped from the factory with the maximum basal rate set at 2.0 units per hour. This means that if you try to enter a basal rate greater than 2.0 units an hour, your pump would not allow you to do so. If you need to set a basal rate higher than 2.0 units an hour, you will need to increase the maximum basal rate limit using this feature. You should discuss the amount of your maximum basal rate limit with your healthcare provider before changing the maximum basal rate limit. To set or change a maximum basal rate, select Basal on the main menu and press Act. Scroll to Basal Setup and press Act. Scroll to Max Basal Rate and press Act again. Once a maximum basal rate limit has been programmed into your pump, you will not be able to program any basal rate, including a temporary basal rate, for a higher amount than the amount you have set in your pump. Here are some important reminders and additional information for you to keep in mind about the Maximum Basal Rate feature. The Maximum Basal Rate applies to all basal rates, including temporary basal rates. This means that you cannot set any basal rate, including a temporary basal rate, to deliver at a higher amount than the Maximum Basal Rate limit that you have set in your pump. Your pump comes from the factory with the maximum basal rate set at 2 units per hour. If you are setting a max basal and you have basal rates programmed into your pump, you will not be able to set the max basal lower than the basal rates that are currently programmed. You will need to lower the basal rates first and then change the max basal to a lower amount. The max basal rate can be set from 0 units per hour up to 35.0 units per hour. Discuss with your healthcare provider what your maximum basal rate limit should be.